Well, way back when my house had a doorbell and the previous owners, for whatever reason, took it out and um, and cocked over the hole in the outside of the door and I never had a doorbell. I had a door knocker. But usually, through most parts of the year, I've got three sets of doors between me and whoever's knocking and if I'm in the back of the house, I don't hear it. So I started thinking about putting in a doorbell and wanted to put something in that was appropriately Victorian and I started looking at you know old doorbells on eBay and whatnot and then it occurred to me that I had this phone sitting on my hallway wall all these years and never had it never worked obviously but it's something I rescued from a department store that they renovated and turned into other stores and offices and um, something they threw in the dumpster was this old phone I always loved it. It's uh, it's a phone. It's actually kind of an intercom because it has these uh, all these departments from the from the old store. Let me shine some light on this. And uh, so it's got jewelry, uh, dry goods, office, candy candy room, third floor, fan room, ribbon, something or other. So anyway, you could. Uh, Apparently you just, instead of dialing the phone, you just push the intercom buttons and, um, and, and hook up with the department in the store. And anyway, I always loved this and had it on the wall just as a decoration. It's missing the, it's missing the, the little ear receiver, but I uh, actually ordered one online on eBay, so uh, it'll have a matching look. But it occurred to me, this, this has bells in it and why can't this be my doorbell and just make this ring uh, instead of putting buying something else and putting it on the wall when I already have this. Now if we open this up and take out the two screws at the top just folds right down and inside there's all the guts of it. it looks like it's pretty complete although I never thought I'd try to I don't need a intercom to the candy room in my house but um, when I looked at the bells on the uh, the bell mechanism, the interrupter mechanism, I uh, saw that it looked complete and that the coils were in good shape. So I tested it with a 9 volt battery and it didn't work. But then I cleaned up the contacts over here. There's a, the interrupter contact um, was dirty and I put a little oil on the pivot points here where the where this actually moves. I also was able to adjust these bells to spread them out a little bit so that the the clapper had more room to travel between them so it could actually because it was really muffled uh, the first time I got it to work and then when I spread the bells out it became a little louder. So I disconnected these are the these are the wires that went from the phone apparatus to the bells and I don't need those anymore so those are just disconnected and when I went in the crawl space and tried to figure out where the doorbell came from and all that I found that it was wired with this really neat looking braided cord so where it's visible up here because I couldn't really get in the wall to do this um, I used reused the, uh, the old braided cord and just this portion that's in the house uh, goes down the down the wall and into the floor I lucked out that there was a there was already a hole on the floor that had been filled with wood putty so I just drilled into it and used that so I didn't even have to put a new hole in the floor and there it is I kinda like that look if that's not your look then I guess you'll have to get a wire into the wall but uh, you can buy all kinds of phone ringers on eBay. There's like an endless variety, even a lot older than this, and oak, and whatever. Because most of the phones needed a ringer. They didn't have a ringer on them. And anyway, it's really simple. Now, I wasn't sure what voltage to use, so I bought a transformer with three different voltage voltages to select from uh, 8 volts, 10 volts, and 16 volt. No, 8 volts, 16 volts, and 24 volts. All right, so it turns out that the that, that uh, wire when, that I reused comes out uh, down here right 
right there and I brought it here this is a big sill that's right below that wall that made it really difficult to if I did anticipate drilling and trying to put the wire in the wall I'd have to drill through this giant 10 by 12 so comes out of here and I, I clamped it off here another clamp here and this is where it joins up with the new wire the new wire is red and white twisted doorbell wire that I got from Lowe's and obviously I didn't want that showing inside the house so I got the, that nice braided cloth wire um, but over here is the new is the new transformer I put a box I uh, spliced into a wire that I already had going there um, so it's a, a grounded wire that was already in place right near here so that I, I tapped into that and you could you could put that transformer anywhere that you have a convenient spot to do it and then just run your wire to it um, so you run your twisted pair over to over to whichever voltage you think is best to use with this particular transformer if you hook it up to those two terminals it's 8 volts. If you hook it up to these two terminals, it's 16 volts. And if you hook it up to these two, it's 24 volts. And maybe you'll, your transformer will just have a single voltage. And chances are that your ringer will work with whatever voltage you put on it. And it'll just ring faster or slower depending on the voltage. So if you're not quite getting enough ring out of it, then you just need a, a, a transformer with more voltage. When you wire this wire, you can think of it as going between the doorbell ringer, the, the button, and the transformer. And then interrupted, uh, interrupt one wire with the ringer, the buzzer, um, your old phone or your old whatever you have to ring. So uh, two terminals to the button, two terminals to the transformer and then you interrupt one wire. I interrupted the red wire uh, and then put the buzzer so going two and then coming back. Now the only thing I really found with these RCA speaker clamps and they're too big for that little twisted wire the, um, but what I did was I just looped the wire around the clamp and that way it's it's held there, it's not held in place, but it's not, you know, clamped down, it's just uh, wrapped around. So I found that that worked. And then it's just a matter of running the wire, going all the way to where you have to go. In this case, the front door. Now let's go up there next. All right, we're at the front door. I was pretty lucky and found the hole and, and just removed the cock and that out of it and there was a little tab of the old wire sticking out and I was able to pull that out get enough of it out to join up the new wire to it with uh, electrical tape and twisting it together and then I pulled the new wire through the hole and, and uh, that worked great so now I've got completely new wiring from here to the transformer and I'm leaving this long. I don't have a button yet. I ordered one and it should come in the next couple of days. But I'm just going to leave this long and stick the, the additional wire back into the wall. And that way if you need more wire in the future, the ends break off. There's plenty in there. Okay, we're ready to test. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just go to the door and touch those wires together so you can see how this works and how loud it is. So there you have it. It's a pretty easy project. You just have to find a ringer that you like, any kind of phone, uh, you name it. There's a, a, alarms, anything that you think would look cool in your house. Uh, wire it up to a new transformer, new bell wire, and if you're lucky enough, you already have bell wire 
run somewhere and you could just maybe hook it up to where you have a doorbell if that's going to look right and if, if not you have to move the wire around or whatever uh, so easy fun project and now I have a doorbell that I won't uh, miss people knocking at the door anymore thanks for watching